Hey bassoons, welcome back. Today we're going to be uh, doing a page in your packet. It's on page nine in your packet called Bassoon Read Crow. Um, before you watch this video, be sure you watch the video on how to crow your read and make sure that you are practiced with what that sounds like so you're making the, the proper sound. And before we begin, you need to have your read soaking and, um, and then come back to the video when your read is properly, properly soaked. So, uh, remember the sound of the crow is not going to be a high sound or a low sound, but it's going to be in between there. It's going to be getting those double pitches in there. And we're going to start with line one here. I want you to notice this weird looking symbol over the top of this note. This is called a fermata. Some people call this a bird's eye. In Italian, the word fermata means to stop. So if you go to Italy, you don't have stop signs, you have fermata signs. It means stop. In music, we typically interpret this as meaning hold. So we're going to hold this note longer than its value. You notice it says four, four time, but we're really just going to hold it as long as you can. So the instructions say, hold a steady sound as long as you can. So sit up tall on your seat. Form your embouchure. So remember, you want to be just about touching the wire. Take a nice breath and you're focusing on the sound of the crow, getting it right there in the middle so you hear those double pitches. Ready? And... <laughs> when it starts to fall off, that's where we're going to uh, start the next pitch. Ready, set, and go. And tap to and breathe. So you may notice that my first two were better than the third one. The third one, I started getting that high pitch only, and I lost the bottom tones in the crow. So be mindful of that as you practice. Do it again. Two and breathe. On line two, we're going to do the same exercise, but this time we are going to have a steady tempo. I'll set a metronome. We're going to play a steady sound until the release on count one. So this will be tap, two, three, four, and then we're going to stop blowing the air on count one of the next measure. So make sure you are tapping your foot as we do this. Here is our met. Check our armature. Tap. Tap, breathe. In line three, we're going to do exactly the same exercise, except this time we're just going to hold that crow for two full measures. This little curvy line right here is called a tie, and it means we're just going to tie this note and this note together. So instead of four beats and four beats, it's making eight total beats. So we're going to cut off right here at the beginning of measure 17. Here's your met. So these are long crow sounds. Set your embouchure and tap, tap, breathe. And I lost that one. Let's see if we can do that again and breathe. Again and tap, two, and breathe. Ah! 
So as you can see, this is not something that comes naturally. It is something that you're going to have to work on. So remember to go back and do the read crow before you begin to play. Uh, test yourself, first of all, with the longest one that you can do with a four count crow and then trying for eight counts with the metronome on. Um, so that is the going to be the end of this video. Next time, we are going to start putting your instrument together and start to learn some pitches on your instrument. So thanks for joining us.